Welcome to our schoolie! Alright, so this is our 2012 International IC with 163,000 miles on it. We got it for 4,500 from a nice family in Texas. Um, her name is Sunday. Um, it's seven windows, six on this side with our door. Uh, she's 27 feet long and we have big plans for her and we can't wait to show y'all. We're That's gonna it. go through the inside tour and show y'all a little bit, but from the outside, it's just a bus. <laughs> All right, so let's show you guys the inside. All right, come on in. Please watch your step as you enter. <laughs> okay, so here is where I'll be driving. <laughs> Are you gonna let me drive? Yeah. Yeah, really? Okay. I feel like I could do it. What'd I do? How do I stop it? Don't press anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this, I need this on. It's hot. This is, you know, where I see how it look in the morning. <laughs> okay, just kidding. For real. It's hot. I need a little air. Okay, coming back. <laughs> All right, so when you enter, we have four benches. Only four, which is nice that we don't have a full set of benches that we need to take out. Um, and then it looked like they started a floor plan, but obviously didn't finish. And then, yeah, this is what we're working with. I mean, it's not too, like, small, but it's not too big. If you come all the way over here, you can, you come, <laughs> if you come all the way over here and turn around, you might see how big or small it actually is um but yeah so we're thinking obviously a bed back here a bed and a bathroom back here and then kitchen living space like sofa hopefully a booth if we're able to fit one in here and yeah what do y'all think <laughs> so i think it's six feet in the middle which is Plenty good enough for Jacqueline and I. Um, it doesn't look like that much room, I feel, but it's going to be plenty. Yeah, it'll be enough. So, yeah. Um. Alright, so we came back inside because it was really hot. Um, yeah, that was pretty much all of our bus. There's um, not a lot in there. <laughs> no, thankfully, there's not a lot in there because then we'd have way more to demo and take out and all that stuff but yeah so we decided to name our bus sunday, sunday. <laughs> i didn't know if you wanted us okay. to say it at the same yeah. time <laughs> yeah we named her sunday for a while we were like we had no idea yeah, we, what we were gonna name her we had a couple names that we can't even remember now i don't we don't remember but um actually jacqueline gets credit for this one she named her. I came up with Junior, and then she came up with Sunday. So. Yeah. So we were actually at a restaurant one night, and we were talking about um, our bus. And all of a sudden, that song came on. Um, is it Feeling Like Sunday Morning? Or? Easy. Oh. And it goes, Easy Like Sunday Morning, that song. And <laughs> I know, I'm a great singer. <laughs> um that song came on and i was like oh my gosh sunday like it's perfect yeah and i immediately was like oh that's it like it can't get better than that because i was like yeah. trying to think of something um, meaningful meaning yeah like you know I, like i was trying to think of something like that sounded peaceful and soothing and like just like your house on yeah. the road so i was like i remember one of them was haven one of them was um school of julie <laughs> school of julie <laughs> So yeah, we were trying to think of something homey, 
And then we thought of Sunday, and yeah. it was just perfect because we love Sundays. It's our favorite day of the week, for sure. Yeah. Well, okay, we love Saturdays, too. Um, but Saturdays are always, like, well planned out. And then Sundays, every morning we wake up and we're like, what are you going to do today? Yeah, and if you think about, like, traveling in a bus, you have no plans. I mean, you yeah. might know where, where you want to go next, but as far as, like, how long you'll stay somewhere or how long it'll take to get there or what's going to happen on the way there or what you're even going to do yeah, when you that's, get there. Yeah, that's definitely the kind of vibe that we want whenever we're traveling, like waking up in the morning, feeling like it's Sunday, and just asking each other, like, what are we doing today? Yeah. Like, that's my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we love Sundays. Um because it's always our chill day. It's always our rest day. Um, it's always our fun day. So Sunday we're like, fun day. why not have Sunday fun day every day? This is like our conversation <laughs> in the restaurant. And we were just like, people were probably looking at us like, what are they laughing about? Or like, Yeah, because every, okay, as soon as I was like, Sunday, we both looked at each other and we're like, Sunday fun day every day. <laughs> yeah. And then it was like one after the other. Like, yeah. It was um, like all these Sunday jokes, like yeah. Sunday school. Yeah. <laughs> and we were just like laughing to ourselves. and Yeah, we were just mind blown whenever we were just like, yeah. it's perfect. It's so us. And we got her on a Sunday, like went to go pick her up on a Sunday. We picked her up on a Sunday. Sunday was born on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> it gets funny and funnier. Um, but yeah, Sunday is just so special to us. It's also the day we go to church and... Um, we're with community that day, so a lot of van life or like schooly people talk highly about the community, and that's something that we're like really excited about, like meeting new people and hearing people's stories and stuff like that. Yeah, and like, I don't know, Sunday just sounds like the nice bus to hang around, <laughs> so hopefully that that's what it is. Yeah, so that is our empty bus tour. Our next video, we will be demoing and getting to work. <laughs> oh, and if you happen to see our backyard, don't go back and look. But the reason we've had it for a week and not started working on it is because it got stuck. And it was stuck for like three days. Yeah. And trying to get a bus unstuck is not easy. And you mess up your yard. But yeah, so our yard's kind of a mess. Better to get stuck in our own backyard than on the road. Yeah. So at least I now, like, I have the experience. I know how to unstuck a bus. I know what we need. Um, and we just had to sacrifice yeah. some grass. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. I hope that you guys want to follow along our journey. If you do, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, um, Sunday underscore schooly. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. See y'all.